Well, I see that bottle with a balloon blown up inside of it. Yeah. Okay. Notice it fills up uh, almost the entire bottle. Well, here's another one that's starting out the same way. Mm -hmm. And all I'd like you to do is to blow up the balloon so that you fill it up like that. Okay. Let me try. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> matter? You didn't even make the balloon No, bite. my jaws hurt. Or, you were blowing so hard? Yeah. Well, now, how come? How come you could get, I could get it so that it filled up the bottle like that? I don't know. Well, think of what you were doing when you blew up the, blew into here. Notice the mouth of the balloon is over the top of the bottle like this. Yeah. So no air can get out. No. So when you're blowing in here, you're actually blowing, trying to blow up the bottle. Yeah. Because the balloon is going out and the air pressure is pushing in, you're actually blowing against the side of the balloon, uh, the bottle itself. So somehow you have to get the air out from in here. Yeah. And what you do is you put something else in place of the air. All right. Okay, let's take the balloon over here, and I'll show you how to do this. But you have your friends try it this way. See, over here I have another bottle just like that one? Yeah. And it's sitting on the stove here, and what have we got the bottle filled with? Steam. All right. Okay. So let's practice what we're going to do. You take the padded glove, and what okay. I'd like you to do is to take the bottle like this and turn it upside down so the mouth is up here like that. Mm -hmm. And I'll be standing by with the balloon and I'll put it over the mouth of the bottle. All right, then. Then, okay. wait a minute, wait. And what is going to happen? Um, well, it'll be full of steam and mm -hmm. that'll go in. Um, I don't really well, know. Well, then, first of all, if the bottle is hot, so that's why I have the, you have to put the gloves on. Yeah. As the bottle cools off, the steam has to be at a 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Right. Okay, but it's now going to cool off in the room. So mm -hmm. the steam is gradually going to condense back to water again. Oh, okay. And then what? And then? With less space. Uh, the steam takes up more space than the water. Yeah. Okay, so that as it now condenses back to water, there's going to be a partial vacuum in there. Mm -hmm. And the outside air pressure coming in through the hole in the balloon is going to actually blow the balloon up for us. Really? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, turn it upside down. And I'll put the balloon over like that. Now let's get away from this heat over here and put it down over here and watch what happens. Bottle is still warm. Well, it's sinking. Aha. See it starting to go down? Yeah. Whoa. Watch the <laughs> wow, it's blowing up. Yes because the pressure is getting lower and lower inside here. Yeah. Now take the gloves and we'll take it over to the sink and cool it off the rest of the way. Okay. So just set it down there and I'll sort of run water off and cool the whole thing off. In fact, I'll put water right in the balloon. Okay, I'm filling the balloon up with water. Mm -hmm. That'll cool off the, that part of it. And then we'll let the water run over the outside so it'll cool off the jar as well. Okay, so I'll be able to hold it. So you'll be able to hold it without the padded gloves on. Okay. But the important thing also is that we're cooling off the bottle so that it, as much of the steam as possible condenses back to water. Okay, now you should be able to touch it, I think. Isn't it warm? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, yeah, it's fine. So Turn it over and just dump everything out. Okay. Sure is blown up. There. So there's a real challenge for your friends, and they'll never be able to solve it unless they remember that steam takes up a lot more space than water. Yeah. yeah.